See some. I ain't gotta say it cause they know where we from I got some money out the ATM But I'm gonna keep some Strip club, free cum All for the liquor, fell in love With a stripper now I'm asking her where she from As if we gonna be some I wanna be some Take my number down You can hit me if you need some Say she got three sons Do you want four? Cause I need one Do you got horse? Cause I beat one Going all night like the reruns I wanna see some ass I wanna see some ass, baby, can you do it like that? From the front to the back, she said, I don't wanna move too fast. Till she hit that gas, so rock in the puff, puff, pass. Now the whole squad get fucked up fast. What's poppin'? Brand new whip, just hopped in. I got options, I can pass that bitch like Stockton. Just joshing, I'm spending this holiday locked in. My body got rid of them toxins. Sports in the top 10. I can put the ball in the end zone, put a bad bitch in the friend zone. Ooh. This shit sound like an intro jet song, give me that tempo. Ooh. Told Pooh he'll fool with the shit. Told her don't let her friends know. In the bill and I move like a dime. Even pettuccine or Vincenzo's. Me and my amigos got that free smoke on the West Coast. Yeah, I'm talking about pre rolls Dark hair bitch, and she look like she go. She do. Hometown hero, feeling myself, can't murder my ego. She heard of my deep stroke. She said, babe, does it hurt when I deep throw? Certified free hoe, hang around does, and she learning my lingo. Back then, wasn't worried about me, though. In the gym, trying to work on my free throw. Goddamn. Spending money at the club like Sam's. Yes, ma'am. She a little freak on cam. But she don't put this on the ground. Little boys trying to diss on the ground. Hey, I can't switch on the fan. Shit's hot, hit the switch on the fan. This where my head is. I feel resentment from every direction. Even some homies be wearing expressions. I be discouraged from sharing my blessings. Where everybody at? Y'all out partying? Restaurants are open. I'm getting real sick of Everyone's ready to have fun. fun. Nobody wants blazing anymore. Somewhere in there is a lesson. Break it, my heart. Depressing. I'm at the club with the best. Happy birthday, Kaden. Sharing a section. Gotta cherish the present. Happy I'm birthday. Hey, Brandon. Got a career and I'm very invested. Okay. Some people call it a scary obsession. Oh, I'm ready for life to go back to normal I like to call for it me. I can be sitting relaxing. There is no normal. PG, we getting some traction. I'm in the venue, it's packed. In. I'm digging her accent. I got a BB Simon belt on me. And she Get your one-on-one one guesses back. in. It's coming. That's my type of distraction. That's my type of she laughing. Got my own flow and I'm about to get a patent. Brand new sheets for the bed they sat in. Y'all wasn't tuned in back then. My swag they keep jacking. I ain't doing no verse, quit asking. What's poppin'? Brand new whip just hopped in. I got options. I can pass that bitch like Stockton. Just joshing. I'm spending this holiday locked in. My body got rid of them toxins. Everyone's tired already? Sports in the top 10. All right, what's up, everybody? How was your Friday? Get your 101 guesses in. Uh, so this week, if you weren't aware, uh, was the roofing week. I helped my father-in-law out. And then today, I wasn't as much needed today, so I ran over and helped my brother for a little bit. My brother's been helping me a ton. We got just a little bit of mulching done. And then, uh, man, just been a crazy week. What's everyone up to? Is, it, is the world back to normal? Restaurants are open around here, and like they're packed to capacity. Like to allow, I'm sure above legal capacity. Get your what? Yeah, it's free to guess. What up, Goosey? What up, John? What up, Scott? What up, Jamie? What up, Shane? What up, Jeff? How's everyone doing tonight? Hope y'all are having a good evening. I really do. Uh, shipping will be out early tomorrow. Brothers coming over at six a.m. with some. I have a I have a fun question tonight for you guys, and maybe we'll do it as a giveaway on the page. Um, I'm very curious. So the, actually, I'm gonna save it for that. Oh, we got our first auto coming up. 
All right, remember, hit me up, PM, if you really are in love with your vet base and want them as per the description. But outside of that, we're going to be skipping the vet base tonight so we can drop that random team's 2019 mixer at 9 o'clock. There's or 10, I'm sorry, 10 o'clock. An eight-day stretch of work. Dude, I'm sorry. That sucks. Marcus Davenport out of 50 for the New Orleans Saints. Saints were drafted. This is what I love about it. Fifth, one, two, three, four, fifth from the bottom. So, um, Jason, Chris Scally, Trey Forsman, Jamie Hunter. Oh, man, the Raiders went all the way down there. Um, could have all had the Saints. Marcus Davenport out of 50. Marcus enjoys watching anime. We won't let ask any more about that. Who was a good help? The boss figured out who was a good help. What's that? All right, Joe Burrow, Tyler Huntley, Lewis Johnson, Moss, and Johnson, Bell, Thomas, and Antonio Gandy Golden. Going out, too. I have my list right here. Antonio Gandy Golden going out to the Redskins. Washington Redskins. Now, remember, we are, we're giving our two $5 hitless credits out as well as the early bird fantasy spot. We don't want red. Early bird is down. Todd got a spot last night. I don't even know if Todd knows he hit. He was Ty was too busy being upset that he didn't hit a CD lamb. He didn't even want his DAC, so he said I could keep it. He said he didn't want the DAC card. I don't know. Maybe he did. I don't know. He, did, he didn't seem excited about it. This goes out to, the who would we say, the Skins. Antonio Gandy Golden Skins were drafted again. Six from the bottom. That's Jason Franklin. They were drafted real late as well. That's what I like about the draft. Happy birthday, Caden. Oh, yeah, you got to pay attention. You know what? It's no different than like a Yahoo draft. It, it will beep one time like, you know, on your computer if your volume's up. And uh, and then after that, it's kind of like you don't have a, a chance. That's the only thing I hate about online drafts. There's a Justin Herbert. Is that, that like the two-minute timer is not a lot of time to pick, especially if you're using multiple screens. Lewerke out of 50. That goes out to the Browns. Or I'm sorry, the Patriots. Yeah, listen to this. Caden, uh, Caden's mom applied, and, and Caden put a tape in to be the one of the next contestants on Ellen's Game of Games, and they got picked to have an interview. So what's that mean, Caden? What does that mean you have an interview? Out of 100, Caleb on Chasan. So I think, uh, and, and will you maybe tell us that story, Caden? I think that once this early draft goes down, we're going to get a lot more excited about fantasy football. I think we got to get that draft laid down. Cool Komet, Anderson, Perkins, Hasty, Michael Warren. There's a Chase Young, Anna Ruggs, A.J. Terrell, Josh McCourtney out of 100, Jonathan Taylor, Austin Eckler, and a Chiefs card there. Jeremy, you didn't get a tag either? Oh, you mean for the break? For being live? Here, let me show you. It says here, Jeremy Wilson, I tagged you. With your lady friend in your Facebook picture. Is that what you meant for the break? That's for tonight, the four box break. Random draft. I'm sorry. That was nine minutes ago. I'm sorry, man. The Facebook things are messed up. I am trying. I mean, we're tagging. I did tag at the beginning of the break and everything. Did you see it, Jeremy, that I did tag you there? I mean, I, yeah, I mean, I tagged you. I don't know. Is there? Do you have a I, I'm being this in, in all seriousness. Do you guys have any suggestions on what else I can do? Like, I mean, and I, that's why I said about 9 p.m. sharp about 10 minutes ago. Maybe what I can do is tag everyone out 
and set more of a hard draft time. Would that help? I'm just trying to think of ways to make it better. You know, it's frustrating while they're not working. Out of 50, Noah Igbenogany. He goes to the Dolphins. Miami Dolphins going out to Chris Vogt. They went up there. They went kind of late. That's, a, again, for the draft, Dolphins did not go near the top where they're selling at the top. Am I right? Oh, oh, no, no, no. I'm sorry. I have it listed over here. My bad. This makes sense. I'm, I sorted them over here so I could see who got them. That's my bad. So I got to go back. The Saints, I was, I was surprised about the skins. The Saints went about in the middle to Austin Scully, about right past the halfway point. The skins went to Jason Franklin, about what, eight, nine picks down. And the Miami Dolphins went second to Chris Voke. That makes sense. All right. Sorry, I missed that. That didn't make any sense to me when I was looking at it. For the Miami Dolphins, going out to Chris Voke. Yeah, I, I, uh, I, on the screen is how in the order they were picked. On my screen, I have them alphabetized so that I can see who has them. I forgot I did that. Yeah, Chris Taylor makes a great point, too. Um, yeah, if he, and, and again, if there's something I can do, let me know. Um, but yeah, like Chris said, go ahead and do that right now. And actually, what I'm going to do is I, I need to start doing this again. At least now, if I post it, people will see the post. And We do have a break dropping at 10, in case you didn't see that either. That's stupid, man. What's the point of tagging if people aren't getting tags? What's wrong with the internet? Actually, man, I don't know what cases are out of what anymore. And I'm not saying that as a joke. There was a, the first case we opened, we went through. But then we had a, a case and then a bunch of straggler boxes from different places. That's why I said the other night when we pulled two out of four boxes, that could have been two different cases. No staff at Facebook. <laughs> they're all busy. <laughs> I got to be. All right. No, yeah, I know. There must not be any staff. So Chris and I are going to lock down the first episode finally tomorrow. We had it and then we abandoned it because we didn't love it. And then the last two days I've been doing nothing but helping out father-in-law, Clyde Edwards, Hilaire, J.K. Dobbins. So now finally tomorrow we should have it locked down and available to, for you, I would say, is, is Chris Voke in here. Uh, probably on Sunday, I would say that's available. Out of 50, under the radar quarterback, Kirk Cousins for the Vikings. Yeah, like I said, I do apologize. If it was something I could do on my end, I, I really would. I promise. So I am going to do this. Ugh, man, I don't want to give it away. It's this giveaway. All right, let me save it. Let me come up with another one I want to ask you guys. I was thinking today. Um, and it's so much speculation right now of fantasy football. It's hard to get too excited because we all want to argue our facts. I will say this. There's a Tua. Um, oh, who was it? There was a coach that came out. Oh, I think it was for the coach for the Ravens, Harbaugh. And he said he's very frustrated. And you, they said you could hear his frustration in the voice. He's very frustrated that he got the regulations for... Um, yeah, it will be available on Spotify. It will be available on Spotify. It will be available on Apple Podcasts. It will be available on Podbean. We'll give you all that information. Join the Coffee and Cards page. That's... C-O-F-F-E-E-N, the letter N, cards. I'll show that to you here in a little bit. I didn't want to post it out too early and us not have content. The first episode is really just getting to hear our story a little bit, um, how we got into the hobby, telling you guys a little bit about what the podcast is going to be out of 35 Michael Warren, um, and, and the content we'll cover. And then we have a little bit of content. We have like a really small bit of content we want to share with you guys, uh, with you guys and gals. And I think you'll like it because, you know, Chris Chris is the, the bearded Grinch. He's also on the podcast. He's the one that's kind of, this is his baby. Um, and T, T. Higgins and Okuda, Jalen Hurts, and Justin Jefferson. But, you know, Chris is a high-end collector. Um, and he has a great take on who his investments are. 
We talk a little bit about that, but we're going to get deeper into it. There we go. For the Philadelphia Eagles, they were uh, the spot was sold and John, from Chris Boak. Jonathan Thomas grabbed him, got himself a Jalen Rieger going out to the Philadelphia Eagles. There you go, JT, working an eight-day stretch coming up. Dilly dilly. 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 Cool storytelling. Are you being, I don't know if you're being <laughs> smart or what. Yeah, you know, it is cool. Uh, Chris's story is really cool. How he got into the hobby as a kid and how he got back into it. A lot of you guys have heard my story. It's nothing special, but I, to me it's special, um, especially as it pertains to breaks and how my kid kind of sparked this breaking thing for me. Um, so, so tune into that. Yeah, we've got to pull Kate in something for his birthday for sure. <laughs> dilly dilly. But the, the cool part about it is once we get past this first episode, and again, once you hear it, if you like our setup, if you're excited for more, give us the feedback. You're going to have a chance to tell your story as well. Um, if you go to that coffee and cards page. Um, so check that out. We're, we're, we are really putting a lot of work into it, guys. Chris is, I, let me, let me rephrase that. Chris is truly putting a lot of work into it. I'll be right back. Hold on. So I'm trying to keep this clear. Chris is, is truly putting a lot of hard work into it. And I think it's going to be cool. And I don't think it's just going to be cool because we're on it. We're talking. It's not really a blazing podcast. It is a, uh, I almost want to give you the preview of the intro because it, it gets you pumped up. It is all things hobby, sports, card, news related. It's so cool. <laughs> you want, listen, we've done this before, Scott. Um, the producers of Alan loved your video, Caden. I can't, I can't begin to tell you how hard I laughed at your video. It was a little wonky, and that's what it gets, man. You get attention with those. Your mom seems like she's got quite a sense of humor. You were a good sport in the video. I had no doubt that you guys were gonna get a callback. I really didn't. It was pretty funny, man. Um, Scott, are you referring to me or to you about talking about it? Cause we want to bring some of our OGs on and also have some other people that really want to talk sports, um, to come on as well. James Morgan, Curtis Weaver, Devin Duvernay. I know I talk a lot. You have to, when you're in a basement by yourself a lot, it's either to you guys or to myself. It's happening either way. And Christian Fulton out of LSU. And that's going to go to the Titans. Scott, you going to come on and talk? You talk a lot behind a keyboard. You don't talk. I have not heard you talk a lot in person. Are you going to talk a lot to me when we go out for drinks in the, at the Bills game? I hope you do. <laughs> Am I going to get to... Ty got his... <laughs> Todd, I hope it's okay I share this. Ty got his big toenails cut off this week. Have you ever heard of anyone doing that? Oh, man. I, you should post the picture to the page. It looked like it hurt. Did it hurt? People say, when you first meet me, I can be, unless I'm drinking. I honestly can be a little, if I'm around, especially around like <laughs> people I've never met, I can be very quiet. Julian Edelman out of 100, it's weird. Jeff Okuda and Darius Slayton, but get a few drinks and me, that changes. Yeah, man, you can. Absolutely. I did not say Todd. <laughs> There's no way I said Todd. That... Why would I share that? Because Scott, I did not say Todd. Thaddeus Moss. I did? What is wrong with me? Why do I have an association with you and, t like, why? Why well, I don't I don't get it. I've never done that consistently. Like as a teacher, I every now and then there were students that two of them I get mixed up for the whole year. I'd always mix their names, but like I don't see you guys. I know you're Scott. <laughs> Why? That's so weird to me. I'm so I'm so sorry. I really am sorry that I do that. C D Lamb, 
Nate Stanley, Blacklock, Rieger, Bryant, Benjamin, Cole McDonald. And a Tua scorecard, gray frame, DeAndre Hopkins celebration, and a Kenny Galladay. I have been on the sun and the roof. And you know what? Today, honestly, today I uh, was not on it as much. There was a lot of people there to help. So after a couple hours, I finally said, hey, I'm going to go help my brother mulch. So I spent the rest of the day over at my brother's uh, finishing that up with him. But again, he's been a huge help to this break page. He has done so many sorts for us lately, so I could help out with other things. Montez Sweat out of 35. But real quick, um, I, I'm obviously all over the place. Scott, we have to have you on, and uh, that's what, part of what I wanted to share <coughs> with you guys is, is that I really do think you'll enjoy it. We want to have you guys on to share your thoughts, not just me talking, not just Chris talking. It's going to be nice to have someone else to talk to on the show, uh, let alone, like, you know, as a, aside from me just talking to myself. Or, I guess, to you guys. Out of 100, we'll have to random this up. Jackson, Watkins, and McCaffrey. He's not lying. It's not, the roof's not an excuse. I have been calling him Todd for like three months now. It didn't start that way either. You'd think I was doing it on purpose, but I, honest to God, I'm not. Like, I don't know what happened along the way that I've made that association in my head. DJ Dallas for the Hawks. Is that going out to Scott? <laughs> Shane got the Hawks. Edwards Alaire. J.K. Dobbins. We have the Isaiah Hodgins for the Bills, gray frame. And A.J. Epinesa for the Buffalo Bills, going out to Chris Scally. They were drafted in the bottom third. Chris Scally drafted them right, before the, uh, right after the Jags and the Niners and before the Bears and the Steelers and the Hawks. The roof doesn't help, though, Todd. Scott, what the fuck? What the fuck? I swear to God, I, I, it, it's gonna. I'm literally gonna sit in my basement and do pretend, like talking to you. That's literally my process. I will do it, and I'll fix it because it's getting annoying to me. It's not even funny. Tony Jones Jr. That's gonna go out too. It's in my head now. It's uh, for the Saints. You know what it is? It's like you ever watch the, the outtakes from movies and at the point to that they say to do the same thing like 25 times. It's like almost like a psychological thing now. I really do think that. My son graduates middle school next week. We have a whole route to drive. That's funny you're doing that. Yeah, I guess middle school graduations are a thing some places. They didn't do anything here. They did a lot for the seniors. Are you being serious? <laughs> like, a lot of people call me Matt. Now, I have a brother, Matt, Scott. So, a lot of people call me Matt. But it's weird because people who don't know that I have a brother, Matt, still call me Matt. So, I, there must be a, an association with Mike's and Matt's together or something. It uh, must have been a common, like... Double name, I don't know, brother name or something. I don't know, but we're on box number two. We have two packs left going through this. And again, we'll, we'll get that information pumped out to you. We're going to have a few giveaways to get. There are some more uh, giveaway items on the way. They'll take a little bit to process. Everything's just a little bit slower right now. Um, everyone say it with the birthday boy, Caden. Come on, lines. Caden, who are you looking for exactly? Who would you like to see us get for you? Ooh, there's an out of six coming, I think. Bradley, Murray, Lipscomb, Wilcox. There's a Joe Burrow, Henderson, Mims, Ahmed, Montez. A six out of six, James Conner end zone going out to the Pittsburgh Steelers. Andrew Mendoza, they were taken right after the Bears. And before that, the Bills. I like to see who was taken when. It's cool to see those. Swift and Okuda. All right, let's see what we have here coming. 
Kinlaw, Hightower, Parkinson, Swift, Hertz, Robinson, P. Ryan, Herbert, Epinesa. There's the base, Connor. Edwards, breakthrough. There we have a random Joe Mixon and Darrington Evans. And that's going to go out to the Tennessee Titans again. Shane Steele. And the Titans were taken way down there. Third from the bottom. Chris Scally didn't have a chance to grab him there. Neither did Chris Voak. But they were the only two people that didn't have a chance to grab him. For the Titans, Darrington Evans. All right, that was box number two. And Goonies never say die. I wish they'd redo the Goonies movie. I, I really think they could redo it in a way that makes it really cool for the new generation with new effects. Think about how cool it could be. That's a movie that has not, I haven't heard anything about being redone. And I don't love remakes all the time. I don't like them to overdo them. But that's a movie that could be redone. Why not? Why not make it cooler? Like, the, it's so old, you know outdated as far as even some of the content might not be even appropriate. All right, you guys ready? Let's get it going. So I think um, after our introduction episode for the podcast, because Hitman Hunter said so, don't do cult class, don't redo cult classics. I mean, I get that. I don't argue that. I would be okay if they never did it. But can we can we just talk for a minute and talk about how good the remake of it was? Are you gonna disagree with that? Because like. Man, it was the new, it was really good. What up, Josh? Hey, happy belated anniversary. It was Josh's 16th wedding anniversary this week. Happy 16 years. Like, it was really, and I love the first it. Like, I, I, and it's hard to say remake that movie. There's a Jordan Love, but they really did a nice job with it. And for the Arizona Cardinals, going out to Doug Berger. They were drafted about, what, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 10 or 11 picks down. The scary movies are easier. I agree. I was going to say it is a little different because it's like a horror flick as opposed to a comedy. But man, I think about like the booby traps and I think about the pirates and like that's out of 100. We'll have to top load that. And I just think there could be some really cool effects on that. Even like, I know it sounds corny as hell. Like whatever happened with the 3D movies, they just gave up on them. I feel like there hasn't been a good one out in a while. Yeah, so what's wrong with remaking that? Like, all right, let me ask you this. I think, not the Dumb and Dumberer, but the Dumb and Dumber, the second one with the original actors, it was actually better than people give it credit for. But no, you're right. Nothing. That's a remake, not a re, or that's a uh, sequel. Let me ask you this: What about the Indiana Jones movies? Would you like to see them remade? Think about the effects. Think about like you know all the stuff that went on there. Tell me you wouldn't like to see Indiana Jones redone. Mike Williams out of fifty. I just feel like that would be cool. Cheaper by the dozen. <laughs> Parkinson, Swift, Jalen Hurts, James Robinson, LaMichael P. Ryan, and Justin Herbert. Don't forget at 10 o'clock we have that 2019 mixer drop in. Colin Johnson, Devontae Parker, CJ Henderson, Julian Edelman, and Javon Kinlaw. I believe that's going to be 59. Or... Yep, the 49ers, I thought so. Going out to Scott Ripley with the second Niners hit. Name a remake, it. Like I said, it. But again, to the argument, um, I think that horror movies are easier to do. 
And again, not that's not a sequel. That's a remake. Sequels are different than remakes, obviously. Name a remake that was better than the original. I'd have to go through. I'd have to see a list without being distracted. Man, a good good pool question though. Again, these are topics we can get in on the podcast and get talking to and have you guys come in and chime in and give. All right, CeeDee Lamb, Zach Moss, Stanley Rieger, Blaylock Bryant, Benjamin McDonald Taylor. We have the AJ Green Gray Frame scorecard. Michael Gallup and Anthony McFarland. That's going to go out to the Pittsburgh Steelers. There's one for the Steelers, Andrew Mendoza. I should say another one. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. I have to disagree with you. I think the original was better. Although the, the remake was good, I think the original was much better. He owns all of them. Every hit that exists. Edwards, Jones, there's a Tua. Hodgkins, Bryant, Evans, Eason. And Bryce Perkins out of 35. That goes out to the Rams. The original Scott or the remake? He was pretty close to having all the hits. Rodgers, Patrick Taylor, James Morgan, Duvernay, Chase on. We have the AJ Green rookie gray frame. Chanel and Michael Thomas. Ah, you're right. So it wasn't a, it was like, because I remember when I rented it from the video store, it was like six VHS tapes. There's an Okuda. And a Jalen Hurts. So it was like broken up when it came out on tape, but it was originally on TV. Interesting. I actually didn't know that, but that makes sense because I remember it was a Stephen King. It's Stephen King, and it was like. Huh. I like that. I mean, that kind of throws my my theory of that, like the scary movie remakes being done. How about the Blair Witch Project? Should we ever do anything like the Blair Witch Project again? There we go. Another one for the Niners. Brandon Ayuk going out to the 49ers. Yeah, I think you could argue some superhero movies have gotten better over time. <laughs> oh. All these. I know. I, I tell you what, Josh, you can't be mad at me. It's Scott that took them. Not Todd, but Scott. One more box, and then we have that 2019 Random Teams Mixer. You can see behind there, drop it for only 29 a spot. It's got rookies and stars, certified contenders draft, and XR in it. So um, I started getting into this a little bit. It was the Ravens coach that said, I, I forgot we started talking about this a little bit. Um, but the Ravens coach Harbaugh said, it's almost humanly impossible to meet the demands of the COVID restrictions as players and coaches return to camp together. Only individuals that like, essentially, it weight room must be six feet apart. There's no spotting. Like everyone has to wear masks. Coaches are supposed to be limited in the locker room meetings and like, he said he's okay. He it's, it's first of all, it's it's very impossible, and he might be okay with it if he thought that all teams were going to abide by the rules. But his fear is that without consequences to these rules, there's going to be. He said his team will abide by the rules when they return. They refuse to go against what the NFL asks, and that's what he was kind of getting out ahead of time and saying, saying we're going to follow the rules. But you have to understand when we find out that like ten or eleven teams aren't following the rules, we're at a major disadvantage. And so I, I get his point. Do we follow the rules and we do the right thing and we teach our players and, you know, our fan base and be respectful in the NFL and do that? Or 
do we do what probably about 35% of the teams are going to do and say, if we're not getting audited today, you know, we're going to have a code word. If we have an auditor come, if we have someone coming in to check from the NFL, you know, we're going to real quickly say, all right, all right, disperse kind of. I get his point. It makes sense. So I think that's the fear. The original is called Willy Wonka. The remix is called Charlie. Didn't even run. The Princess Bride. That might be good. I didn't care for the original just because it's not my kind of comedy. Yes, but I think it's not a small business. It's big business. And it's, you know, big consequences if you get busted if they decide to re enforce those consequences. I get it. I actually agree with Harbaugh on this one. I think that the NFL has to put out what the what the punishment will be. You know, think about Belichick. All the stuff he tries to get away from. You think that dude is really going to abide by the rules? No, those guys will be lifting together, you know. And then you're going to have teams that aren't doing that. That's out of 10, Jermaine Pratt. Jermaine, Instagram. Oh, it's GP underscore money three. If you want to follow Jermaine Pratt on Instagram. There you go. Yeah, I think there is. I don't mean, I don't hope you don't mean it's political here. I do think that. There are state-by-state state regulations, but the NFL has to be the ultimate dictator saying, we're going to take the most strict state's regulations and say, that's what we're going to go off of to keep it fair. Jerry freaking Judy, out of 50, going out to the Broncos. That's going to be Jeremy Wilson taking them. Where, where did they go? Way down the list. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13-14 for the Broncos. Wait, wasn't Jeremy Wilson upset? Didn't he get them? Jeremy Wilson, weren't you the one that... Oh, you didn't get the tag... To get into the, the live stream. Those are the young gold auto. Yeah, man. Killing it for you. There's a Joe Burrow LSU. Patman Warner Huntley. Thaddeus Moss. And Carlos Dunlap out of 50. Carlos opened a restaurant in Miami in 2019. Oops. It was over here. So where'd that come from? <laughs> Have they ever tested for that? Was that something they regularly did? That, that'll be here before we know it. Hey, second year Gardner going out to the Jaguars. Oliver, there you go. Drafted what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 from the bottom. So what? 20 teams in. Gardner Minshew for the Jaguars. There was no, there wasn't a Scarface remake, was there? <laughs> Unless, I mean, the original isn't the one I think it is, and that was a remake. We have AJ Boye and Bryce Perkins going out to the Rams. That's gonna be just a green frame. That's weird. I've never just seen it like that. Green frame, Bryce Perkins for the Rams going out to Trey Forsman. Where did the Rams go? Near the bottom there. Right before the Falcons, but right after the Hawks. Ah, okay. So there, there's a good example. I mean, I can't, I, I shouldn't say that's a good example. I didn't see the 1932, but the major advancements in film and media, which is true for even something like the Goonies. And that's kind of what I'm getting at is you can get some great technology going, you know, making it a lot better. Chenault, McKeon, Higgins. There's an Okuda. 
Ayuk and Hurts. And we have Aaron Jones, DJ Chark, Jonathan Taylor, all hands team. And out of 100, a Mike Williams. I'm sorry, Caden. There'll be more. It's your birthday, man. And you're going on, you're getting an interview with Ellen. You can't be too upset. J.K. Dobbins. Vaughn and Love. And we have the Kalijah Lipscomb, Albert O. Why do you think that is, Corey? Like, just because they don't want to mess with a good thing? They don't want to be the people that get criticized for it? Jalen Hurts. There's a Justin Herbert. Epinesa. We have the Ronald Jones. This stays with the Giants. And a Raquan Davis. Goes out to the Dolphins. I believe. Let me double check that. Yeah, another one for Chris Voke and the Miami Dolphins. It does look like we're back. Sorry, I'm just making sure people are back. All right, we're back. Last one pulled was the Raekwon Davis going out to the Finns. Scott, are you saying were you saying that you would encourage them to do a prequel to like the darker side of it, like where the treasure gets buried? When I'd really search for the treasure, quest for the rich stuff. It's so good. I did like it. I like that idea. Like almost like geared towards more of the generation that enjoyed um, uh, the Goonies, but like a darker side of it an adult version like make it legit scary as hell like <laughs> make one-eyed willie scary then go back and watch the goonies and be like man that was scary that they did that that would be kind of cool last pack mojo and then we have two and i think that it would be corny now like it was cool then because it was now it'd be too futuristic, right? Like we've come so far. I feel like anything they did would be, there's a two. This is the last pack mojo. And then we'll do two $5 hitless credits as well as the fantasy spot. We have Casey Hayward out of 100. Casey's top bucket list item is skydiving. All right. And CJ Henderson. All right, guys, don't forget direct message me. If you want your vet base ship, if not, they won't be, um, all, all this stuff, rookies, inserts, anything, like even like anything like this gets done. Like, I should get it up here. Like Josh Jacobs, second year stuff does as long as it's an insert. One-Eyed Willie would be Johnny Depp, like Pirates of the Caribbean. That's what I'm thinking, like almost like that. That's what I'm saying, Scott. I, I read. I think your your idea was awesome. Who else would play the main part? I feel like we would just get him mentally confused with Jack Sparrow. We would call him like Jack. Kind of like I call you Todd. Depp needs a new job. I'll tell you what. He's had some crazy rules. Like secret window. Nuts, right?
he is a little bit off his rocker. I know. At least maybe the fantasy spot for Caden. For the birthday boy. Don't forget in 10 minutes that, that random teams drops. Thank you guys. The big shout out to Chris Taylor for uh, being willing to do this draft. Thank you guys who are patient through the process. You know, things happen. We'll get better at it. We, you know, no one else is doing the drafts like this. At least that I've seen. They are a lot of work. And we wouldn't be able to do them with people like Chris. So please, you know, do your best to accommodate him and... and you know, work with him and understand that he's just trying to keep it moving along. The funny eyed guy. <laughs> yeah, the one that always looks cross eyed. Yes. Bad. <laughs> Scott, you're on to something, dude. Oh, I wasn't even thinking Steve Buscemi. I wasn't even, I was thinking the one that's like, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Steve Buscemi's even better. Sausage McMuffin. He is a really good actor. He he recorded in the town I live in for that. What's that one that goes on the beat the boardwalk empire? He recorded in the town I live in for that. Alright, here we go. Jermaine Pratt, Joe Burrow, Dunlop out of 50, Tua Burrow out of 50, Mike Williams, Jabril Peppers out of 100, Tua, Perkins out of 35, Hilton out of 100, Burrow out of six, James Connor. Oh man, this wasn't recorded. Are you kidding me? I better record at least the recap. I'm going to re restart this. Connor out of six. Burrow, Hilton, Perkins, Tua, uh, Peppers, Williams, Burrow, Tua, Dunlap out of 50. Burrow out of 10. Pratt, Burrow, Tua, Tua, Sweat, Tua, uh, Michael Warren out of 35. Kirk Cousins out of 50. Burrow, uh, Brian Lewerke out of 50. And Joe Burrow. Yeah, the guy from, well, he's in a whole bunch of stuff with uh, Adam Sandler. All right, before we even do this, let's go ahead and random these off. This will be uh, one, two to the top, three, four to the middle, five, six to the bottom. Two. So Breeze, Jackson, Wilson, Wilson, Watson, Rogers, Jackson, Jones, Jackson. So that is the top. Break drops in about eight minutes. Now we do a different rule for each of these since they're numbered. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's a five. It goes to Christian McCaffrey. Just the number ones get all rolled individually. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's going to be a one. All right. It goes to Drew Brees. Now for our hits, we had the Raquan Davis that goes out to the Miami Dolphins. And that's going to be Chris Voke. We had for the Rams, Bryce Perkins, green frame, but not numbered, going out to Trey Forsman. We had the Gardner Minshew for the Jacksonville Jaguars, going out to Oliver Pascal. We had the Jerry Judy for the Broncos, going out to Jeremy Wilson. There you go. That's a nice one for you there, Jeremy, out of 50. Brandon Ayuk for the 49ers, going out to Ripley. Ripley had a good break with the Niners. And for the Steelers, Anthony McFarlane, going out to Andrew Mendoza. We had the Javon Kinlaw for the Niners to Scott and Andy Isabella for the Cardinals. That one's going out to uh, Doug Berger in the cards. He still can't even, he's getting Andy Isabella even in 20. Darrington Evans for the Tennessee Titans going out to Shane Steele. We also had the Tony Jones Jr. Who did we say Tony Jones went to? Goes out to the New Orleans Saints. That's going to be Austin Scully. And AJ Epinesa for the Bills going out to Chris Scally. We had the Christian Fulton for the Titans going out to Shane Steele. Jalen Rieger for the Eagles. That one's going out to Jonathan Thomas. And for the Finns, Noah Ibing. I don't know how to say his name. That one's out of 50, though. Antonio Gandy Golden for the Washington Redskins going out to Jason Franklin. And Marcus Davenport for the New Orleans Saints going out to Austin Scully as well. Six, a little less than six minutes on that drop. Before we do that, though, let's go ahead and give away two $5 hitless credits. And then we'll give away a spot nine in that early draft league.
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's going to be the Raiders and the Bengals. So Raiders, Jamie Hunter, and the Bengals, Jeff Amaral, picking them first, not getting much out of it. A bunch of burrows, which isn't bad. He got his money's worth there. You each get a $5 credit. Now what we're going to do is bring everyone in, all the teams here. Top team wins the fantasy spot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. It's going to be the Vikings, Minnesota Vikings. Chris Scally with the spot. They were picked. Man, I got to come back to the main screen. Where were the Vikings picked? Picked kind of early. So Vikings, Chris Scally with the fantasy spot. Remember, Chris, if you don't want that, you can trade it for, you know, to someone. They'll, they can get you credit or whatever that way. All right, I'm going to roll out. I'm going to drop that. What you can see in the background there, that 2019 mixer, I'm going to get ready to drop that now. Um, that will be uh, at nine, uh, 10 o'clock. And it's 29 a spot, so be ready for that. I'm just going to. Make sure we're ready to go. I just don't, I, I know we're still here, guys. I just want to make sure I have this ready to rock. It drops in two minutes. All right, drops in one minute. I'll see you all then.